So I really, I really write poetry with uh, with uh, politics in mind. Uh, it's it's poetry. I, I usually save for a sort of expression of personal thoughts and emotions and feelings instead of grinding things out within me. But this one is uh is is it's not political. It's more cultural, I guess. And it's called the journey of the eagle. And instead of it's this is this is this um, sort of tracking the the history of of sort of what people colloquially call Western culture, or what I just call the culture of, of, of the ego, which is uh, being able to to empathize and separate yourself from sort of the rigmarole of the everyday and sort of look at the big picture and sort of try, sort of try and, and, and see uh, humanity, so sort of humanist values. And, and those, 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 as far as I'm concerned, comes first of all from, 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 from Christian culture and, and, and sort of the Christian culture um, interacting with Greco-Roman culture and then um, British uh, culture and, and sort of the empire, right? The British Commonwealth Empire to sort of expand beyond that. So, anyways, this one is called uh, and then which um, ultimately right now is being sort of America's ethos of of of, of this country is built by immigrants. It's sort of this idea, right, that we're all human and that's and that's that's and that's it, right? So, if if you have an eagle eye view, we're just just humans, right? And anyways, this is espousing humanist values, and I hope you enjoy. It's called the Journey of the Eagle. There was an old idea, some people around the campfire discussed it. It was not quite concrete, but it was simple, yet profound. Here it was, that liberty, in the, tru in the true sense of the world, was possible in the secular. That although strife is our burden, it need not be in vain. That your strife could pay off, could ease the burden of the collective enough to touch the light. That if only for a few minutes every day. And that this promise could be extended to all the peoples. It was an old-fashioned idea, but some of us still believe in it. And so we toil, but not in vain, rather for the fulfillment of that promise that man is not a slave, but on his best days, a savior. And that was the journey of the eagle. I hope you enjoyed.